Alright guys, welcome to a really uh, random video you could say, it is just going to be me uh, showing you a bunch of random fix ups that, and, and customs that I've made today. But yeah, I received some extra Elite 80 uh, figures because obviously I got my big ringside order a couple of days ago which you guys saw yesterday. And then Smith ended up getting them in the same day I got them from ringside. So I ordered like a couple of ricochets, I ordered a Kyle O'Reilly to do some parts swapping and to make a few new customs and I'm going to show you guys what I made in this video. And I've already posted pictures on my Instagram and you guys seem to really uh, like the things that I made. So I'm, And a lot of you did ask for a video uh, for me to go through in depth, you know, how I made it. Uh, I was actually going to film it in a video where, um, like, me making these. Uh, but I just, I honestly just didn't have the time to, like, set up the camera and everything. I just did it, like, freely throughout the day. And I really didn't want to mess anything up that badly, especially something that includes a torso crack. Uh, but first of all, I guess we'll go to the main attraction. And it is this War Games Adam Cole attire. And obviously Mattel have made all three members in War Games attire. Um, except Adam Cole, which never got voted for the Fan Central. Which I think is actually a good thing. Because I feel like that means they'll release it in the regular way of later down the line. So it's easier to find. So people can complete the set a lot easier. Uh, hopefully anyway. But this is just the Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah, here it is without the shirt. It is just the Kyle O'Reilly crotch piece and upper legs and torso uh, the head does sit a bit low but I think it looks okay um, and then I put on my Adam Cole arms and head scan uh, as well as the Elite 71 boots I used Carl Anderson lower legs because I know this isn't accurate at all but uh, I really wanted to use some like bare calves but I only had these ones with the black outline uh, I guess it looks pretty cool but not as cool as I don't know, I don't really know what that even means. But yeah, it probably would be a lot more accurate if I just used the other way around. But I did use Kyle O'Reilly because there's no like other designs. It just says the Undisputed Era logo there. Uh, unlike the Roderick Strong, which says Strong on the back. So that wouldn't really make sense. Uh, so yeah, I've been waiting for this Kyle O'Reilly. I know a few people had this idea. I know My Damn Toys was going to do this. But yeah, I definitely recommend for anyone to go out there if you want a War Games Adam Cole. Uh, buy the basic Adam Cole. Obviously, you'll need some elite Adam Cole arms to get the tattoo. Because uh, now on my epic moments, Adam Cole... Has no head scan and no arms, which is kind of annoying because I really love that figure. So I don't really know what I'll do there. But I do have a uh, another Adam Cole head scan soon. So I'll pop that on there. And I guess we'll finish the Undisputed Era uh, fix-ups for today. Obviously, if I got that Kyle O'Reilly, I'm not going to let the head scan go to waste. And I put it on the Epic Moments as well as the arms. And I think this looks so much better uh, on the Epic Moments because this head scan is just amazing. So much better than the weird one we got from with uh, Elite. With the epic moment set, which I actually loved at the time, but looking back on it, it's terrible. Uh, yeah, a bit of an update on Hanson. Yeah, this happened. Um, I, I, obviously, people who follow me on Instagram will know about this, but in the last YouTube video, it was dangling off, and it just randomly fell off when I picked it up one time. Uh, but not to worry, I do have a replacement on the way. Um, so shout out to Ringside for sending that. And over here, I have a couple of Ricochet customs. Uh, we have this one here with the Alberta Del Rio thighs, and the Ultimate Edition Finn Balor lower legs with kick pads. And this is the Elite 80. And the skin tones don't really match too well. But honestly you can't really tell on pictures or anything. And I'm not a fan of the trunks design for Ricochet. But um, I think it looks pretty cool. I just kind of wanted it. The Ricochet collection's getting out of hand. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah now obviously we have the Nightwing collection. If only this was an Elite. I was actually thinking about if I get another one. Uh, these Elites. And then put them on the basic torso. But the blues won't match. And that will be very weird having a basic torso on an Elite. Yeah, I think we're pretty good for ricochets right now. Oh, is that another one? Yes, it is. So I bought a random fodder bundle on eBay, and it had these Mustafa Ali legs in. I thought it would be pretty cool, since they're now a team in the Fed, uh, for to put a ricochet torso one. And at the time, ricochets were super expensive, but with the Elite 80 coming out in Smiths, uh, they weren't too bad, so I managed to actually torso crack. So yeah, as you guys can see here down the line, uh, it is a the torso crack was okay. The bottom half was definitely better, uh, but I tried to push it in. And it just wouldn't go in any further. And the arms are pretty loose. Uh, which is the only problem. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, I think it came out all well. As long as it looks okay. Uh, that's all good to me. So yeah, now he matches Ali. And wow, these just look sick. I, w I also have, obviously, the lowers from this. And a spare Ali torso. So should I put the Ali torso on the uh, ricochet legs? Uh, it'll be these legs. I might have to do some lower legs often. Because obviously the kick pads and everything, what Ali wears... Just for the kick pads that Ali wears, uh, he doesn't really wear a boots look and that'll be way too tall. But yeah guys, that is it for today's video, a pretty short one. 
uh, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on some fix-ups that I did. But yeah, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Uh, let me know which fix-up or custom was your favourite. Uh, mine is probably the Adam Cole because we just really wanted the War Games Adam Cole. And I think it does the job pretty well for now until Mattel hopefully make one. Uh, but yeah, be sure to subscribe. Uh, I'm going to start working on Survivor Series soon as you can see the arena. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I, I know it's nothing too special but honestly I just I don't really know what else to do. Uh, I think the SummerSlam arena I uh, kind of went all out for with the trees and everything. And Survivor Series, you know, I think just a little tunnel like this, nice and simple. Uh, lots of room, I think it works pretty well. But yeah, besides that, I'll see you all in the next video.